up, guys? Welcome to episode 160 of the Dropouts podcast. Uh, Jared is going to lead this podcast off by telling me a joke about a door. How fun is that? I am. What did the door say to the window? It said, um, I'm always open. <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious. You should get into comedy. What the f was that? A spit take, dude. You just spat all over me. It's called spittered, first of all. That's disgusting. And don't tell a joke that's so comical. It's pretty easy on your end, buddy. What the hell? Okay, we're not going to bring the demonic place into this. Oh, my God. Everything is soaked. He's also my God. <laughs> I didn't even see him fill his mouth up. Neither did I. When did that happen? <laughs> you were funny. What am I supposed to do? Not spit on me. How it's, about that? It's called a spit take. There's not much I can do here. Just don't do a spit take. No. <laughs> don't say anything funny then. It's all over the wall. How'd you get it up there? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I've had a very similar conversation about different fluids coming from my body before. Let's hear some intro music. Oh my god. What man? This is disgusting. Okay, I can agree you on that. You have a real problem with spitting on people. You bleak on us all the time, and now you're freaking like spitting a whole mouthfuls of there's no way. Gleeking is different there's, than spitting. It's not. It's saliva that is protruding okay, from saliva your Saliva is coming out, but I'm not spitting on you. I'm gleeking on you. That is, it's the same concept. For, it's still gross. For our audio listeners, nothing is happening. He's making this all up, and I think he has a touch of the skits. For everybody that's listening on Spotify, you guys have the video version. Oh, so. He's gaslighting. I'm not gaslighting. <laughs> through there's, CGI. There's proof. He's gaslighting through CGI. What the hell? I know how good you are on a computer. I'm so cold now. <laughs> I'm freezing. Cold. To our friendship or cold? A little bit of both, like temperature and our friendship. <laughs> oh, Alyssa thinks she can just laugh anytime she wants now that she's got a camera on her, huh? No. <laughs> she's a little insecure, everyone, based on the angle. I wouldn't say a little. I would say a lot. Oh. I literally turn the camera on her and she goes, this is the worst angle because everyone can see my beak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with no context, no one knows what that means. <laughs> uh, it means her big ass nose. <laughs> Jared. It was a she joke. She is so insecure. insecure about that sundial on her face. <laughs> so don't make fun of her, okay? I actually don't think you have a big nose. I'm, I I'm, I'm actually either. the one few people. Uh, actually, Jared speaks to me. Okay, let me lay okay. the groundwork here. Whatever Alyssa he's... really wants a nose job. What are you? No, go continue. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Um, Alyssa really wants a nose job. And I, I have always said, Alyssa, your body is perfect the way it is. I have also said that no. you're leaving me out of this no, no, equation. No, 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 you. Okay, okay. I need to. I concede to the argument, and you have always said that that she doesn't need a nose. That she job. doesn't need a nose job. Okay, or else. thank you. In front of her face, she, he says it behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And not only that, he types it out. Is that and emails it to me? Is wow. that worse? Why is that? Why would that be worse? Okay, imagine somebody is like up to you, and they say, oh, "I don't like that shirt." Now imagine someone took the time to. <laughs> To email that to you and then write sincerely at the bottom. Yeah, that seems way more intentional and not just like a. Yeah, because if you say it to someone, you can be like, I really like that shirt. But in like text form, it's so much harsher. I'm going to give you a compliment okay. and I don't want. OK, what the hell was that? <laughs> and I don't want to, but I'm going to do it because I'm a good person. You just spit your hair me. looks what I feel like that takes you down a step from a good person. You just spit all over me. Well, she's gushing right now after I already said something about her hair. She's like, I can't wait to hear the rest. Okay. <laughs> your I hair. It's gonna what? It looks good. Okay. That's a little presumptuous. <laughs> That's a little presumptuous. <laughs> okay. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Really I was going to throw a really in there. So <laughs> oh, okay. well, um, you. don't sell yourself short. It does look really nice. Did you quaff it yourself? I did. Dyson Whatever Airwrap that... Styler. No, I just. What? Fushushed it. Sure, it. Whatever that. Oh, I, uh, will she do that to me? Huh? Are these You've technical? Are these technical? I, I'd terms? like to hear it again, slower in my ear. Shush and quaff. <laughs> what? Are these technical terms? Like a zhuzh and a quaff? I feel like somebody guys... who's got spit all over and really wants to get technical, don't they? <laughs> I knew it was spit. <laughs> That's if I was playing Jared and he had a good comeback. Okay. Um. 
Damn, that a lot of you guys don't know this. But we're having a live show <laughs> in, in New York City, July 27th. And if you need to get on a plane, if you need to get on a boat, if you need to spend your life savings to get there, I can promise you it is going to be worth it. Alyssa, stop looking at yourself in the monitor. <laughs> now that you have a camera, um, please come again. This is not a threat. This is a promise. I will take a knife and I will put it to the temple of the person you love the most. And I will curb stomp it into their frontal lobe. Legally, I'm going to say allegedly. Okay. Legally, I'm going to double down. Um, legally, I'm going to triple down on the allegedly. Either way, we, you need to be there. We have sold in approximately 150 tickets. And you might be thinking, Zach, oh, wasn't the last venue only like 200 seats? You guys are pretty close. This venue's bigger. And if this thing's not sold out, my mom's going to be there. My brother's going to be there. My brother is going to be there. And my mom. So think about that. Well, my parents aren't. Um, well, that's because they don't love you. That's true. Alyssa, that's based are on your, your life choices? Going? I'm not sure. They oh. said that uh, they might. Okay. Well, okay. that's two tickets we could have sold. Did your brother get the one prize? It was delivered. Oh yeah, uh, we wait. Which prize? Oh, we can't say it. Um, if you're coming to the show, you guys are gonna get some pretty fantastic prizes. Yeah, pretty um, fantastic prizes. Jared got mad of how much money I spent. He actually had a sit down conversation with me. Yeah, because there's a thing like we always joke on this podcast, like we don't make money, and then like when we did the we first, always what on this podcast we, uh, on the in the first live show, like we we were joking that we lost money. <laughs> We're always joking, dude. I'm straight up. He said joking. I'm straight up. Gonna like fucking punch you in the face. This we're is, always this what is, on this podcast, my man? <laughs> joking, and that's right. This is so out of line. It's not even The couch looks like it has leprosy. I don't know if leprosy gives you spots. Maybe I was just thinking of a leopard in general. <laughs> this is beyond disgusting. You've got to stop saying such hilarious things. I'm going to level with you here. There's nothing I can do about it. What if I just... Okay. <laughs> Don't fill up your mouth again. Ew. Don't say anything funny. You're telling me I can't make a joke for the rest of the podcast? A what? I... <laughs> a what, Jared? I, I just said the word. I didn't even... What word did joke. you say? <laughs> so it's so gross. It's so gross. You... I can't Yes. You, my man, I need to get on the stage soon and stand up and talk into a mic because you are funny. This is so disgusting. Oh, my fucking God. Okay. I'm covered in your spit. Sliva, man. Uh, it was a spit take. Yeah, that is spit. Maybe take the water bottle away from that. That's what I tried to do, and he spit on me again. I didn't spit. It's a spit take. It's still spit. Um... Anyway, we spent a lot of money on prizes. Was that the thesis? <laughs> yeah. I, I, at the first show, we said we lost money. We actually broke even. At this show, we are genuinely losing money with uh, like the prizes and travel and lodging and oh, stuff dude, like that. Don't, we can't whimper to the audience I'm not here. Whimpering. They're going to see us as weak. I'm not, Do you want to see somebody weak on stage? No. No, of course not. I'm not we'll saying. We'll spend twice as much. God damn you know, it. Don't say that. You know why I'm all listening to this podcast. I know. She's going to get she so She does not like me. the Lord's name in vain. I know. I'm sorry, Miss Gina. It's it's like a habit. Yeah, and? It's hard to break. How about the man you offended? I, and you know, I'm sorry, big man or woman or any sort of de deity entity that you are. Thank you. I think he heard you. I think so. Over to you, Alyssa. I want you to say something worthwhile. God, um, dude. I don't know. So gross. Oh, I don't know. Nice. Um, over to me. Okay, so I've been... Merch! We've got merch! <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> Dude, Shop, I, hey, merch, it's cool. It's good quality. Shopdropouts.com. <laughs> well, listen, I've been, I've been having a hard time... I've been forgetting to promote recently. Uh, Are you sure about that? I feel like we spent the first 10 minutes of every <laughs> podcast promoting because we can't get through it. Is that a joke? No, it's not a joke. Okay. Just let me know if it's a joke. I'm never going <laughs> to let you know if it's a joke. Okay, then I'll use my own Uh No, mind. just don't use your intuition. Um, no, no, no. I actually really want to talk about this. Uh, I thought I saw something really funny this week, and it was our Patreon. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're oh trying to gosh. get to 10,000 subs on there. And if we do, I'm going to do a drunk episode. Normally we do drunk episodes. Here's a clip from it. I'm in couples therapy right now. <laughs> I, I like to think you guys came in blitzed <laughs> with medieval times. <laughs> Fun couple therapy I could ever think with of. medieval times hats on. Okay, guys. So, um, how was this week? It was fucking awesome <laughs> until she called me short and fat. <laughs> I didn't call you short and fat. Okay, we had you a great time at words. medieval times, but she was horned up over the green knight. <laughs> and you would be too. You were also horned up over the queen. Yeah, because she was hot and she wasn't a bitch. <laughs> remember, remember, our words mean something. Yeah, I fully. <laughs> Mean it. <laughs> I understand, Mr. Bailey. Mrs. Alberti, does it hurt you when um, your husband says these things about Why you? Why does she have a different last name <laughs> than me? So um, did you guys come to the session drunk? No, we're sober. Sir, you have an open alcohol. I'll tear you. <laughs> we're going to do an exercise. Can you tell me three things you like about your wife? <laughs> I'm glad you guys can at least laugh together. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I like about, about her. She knows how you to- look like a psychopath. You're crying <laughs> wearing medieval times. You have one shoe off <laughs> and you're drinking. And Jared is going to get a dropouts tattoo live on the podcast. Wait, when the we same, get there, the same episode that you're drunk. Uh, they might be well, two different episodes. I don't know. Okay, imagine me and you both sauce off the liquor. That would be so much fun. <laughs> that would be fun. And fun is different than a joke, right? Yeah, very different. <laughs> very different. Okay. Um, but we also we also just did our first live Q&A. We're done promoting, man. Oh, now we're done promoting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You anyway, we just did our sellout. first live Q&A. No. It was a lot of fun being promoting. able to no, chat stop with promoting. you guys. Actually, stop promoting. I'm going to beat the hell out of you. Oh, I'm going to beat the hell out of you. I love you've you, too. It's my four kink. times this podcast. You've been... I'm not even going to bring it up. You've been hilarious. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, this is what I actually want to talk about. Oh, good. Let's hear um, this. It's back cracking. I love back cracking. Specifically, the Y strap. Um, are we plugged up to the TV? Of course not, because she's not a door job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and look now, now people can see your fluster on the camera. <laughs> this is this is what we pay you for, huh? Yeah, yeah, no, she. Told me I told her she was going to be on camera today. Technically, no. it should be set up no. every week. Um, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> I told her she was going to be on camera this week, and she came out in the lowest cut shirt I've ever seen in my life. And we had to tell her that we were going to get demonetized because of her. Well, I actually respected a woman's body and said she could wear whatever she wants because society needs to learn that breasts are beautiful. And then you said, I want to cover them up. You said I'd cover her face if she could, and only men should be able to show their face. You said that. You said that out loud. I don't know if that's ringing a bell. It doesn't sound like me. <laughs> That's what I thought when you said it. <laughs> like, this is not him. But you had had caffeine in like an hour. I do get cranky. <laughs> Especially towards women's values. No, no. No, that doesn't sound right. Hey, Alyssa, how's uh, the <laughs> HDMI going? <laughs> okay, no. let, let me talk about um, the Y strap. Have you seen these videos? No. What is it? <laughs> okay. Well, no, I, sorry. I was started thinking, I was like, is it the thing that you bought a long time ago? But that's like an X. No, 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 no. That is a device that did not work. <laughs> um, so this Y strap, it's essentially they're putting a rope around your neck as you're lying down. And they, they have, they're holding almost like a ski handle. Okay. And so you're lying on the table. He kind of he kind of adjusts your neck where it's like a little bit stretched. And then at the perfect moment, just yanks your neck as hard as you can and your whole spine cracks. This sounds like a, a grade A way to be internally decapitated. The cracks that you hear are consuming my thoughts 90% of the day. Really? I mean, I've done black tar heroin before. It felt good. And I recommend it to most. But this... This was 10 times better. But does like, do chiropractors not scare you? Like I, I used to, my mom used to take me to the chiropractor with her as a kid. Um, and it, every, every single position that he looked, put you in while she was out, no, out that, of the room, he put her in. Okay. Were you okay. watching? Who's holding the camera? <laughs> every single position just looked like, I was like, this man's going to snap my mom's neck in half. And I, it kind of scarred me. And I think. That might be partially why I don't like massages now. Because you saw your mom get ran through by a chiropractor? God, she didn't get run, run, ran, ran through, run through. Are you drunk right now? I wish. That means you got a problem. You are pretty drunk last night. How's it going, Alyssa? Ugh. 
You don't know? Well, I got pretty drunk because we were going to a birthday party and we're going to this like every single event is at a, like a really nice like bar or restaurant yeah. and I knew the drinks there were going to be ridiculously expensive and sure enough they were so but like I pre-gamed beforehand pre-gamed a little too hard okay and then I got there and they were making the drinks extra strong I think for two drinks it was like $65 parties in LA are very different or oh, this is a birthday party for Vinny yeah. Hacker yeah who I've met once maybe twice uh-huh and it's very different than I feel like birthday parties anywhere else because everyone's kind of there for themselves instead of like, I didn't know if I was supposed to like wish him a happy birthday. Well, yeah, it's like you're going to somebody's birthday party who you basically don't know. No. And I've seen his abs on the internet. I've, you know, yeah, I've counted them. They're all there. Do you know the abs personally? No, I've never put peanut butter on them and licked them off. Not once. Is that how you get to know somebody? Uh, you know a lot more about them. Hey, hey let's get the thing up. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This is the Y strap. So this is this is the video you're talking about with the Y strap. You can really hear it what, there. You can really hear it. Was that that just sounded like the table? Yeah, that sounded like. T- trust me, we'll get some good cracks. Ready? Listen to this. And blow it out. No, we do one. Oh! Didn't hear it there. Gosh. <laughs> but you can see their euphoria. Oh, yeah. It looks like they oh got, God. they're like oh. Atlas, and they got the weight of the world <laughs> lifted off your shoulder. Yeah. So this is a chiropractor. Well, a, a ton of chiropractors do it, and it looks it exceptionally like heavenly. Doing it. Like, my heart was like, oh, man. And it just let go. I felt that my upper back. Oh. Whoa. Give me one more. Give me one more. And blow it out. I can't. I can't tell what's their back and what the table is. All right, man. I didn't know it was cynical city. I'm not being cynical. Um, I'm just being honest. So there is a big fight between the chiropractors and I'd say traditional doctors. Is that a respectful term for the chiropractors? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like to the chi- chi- chiropractor. Okay, so this is a neuroscientist um, speaking about the Y strap, and he has some opinions. Because I really wanted to get this done. I was like, might as well check out on the old regular doctor to see uh, what they think. I just thought the opening line says a lot. Says a lot. <laughs> if this guy pulled any longer or harder, these people would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> See, but that's what I was. That's what I was saying. I he was kinda, like, yeah, he just goes into it. He goes, he's so basically, you are hanging them, and right before they die, you stop. And the reason they get so euphoric is because your brain goes into fight or flight mode, and you realize you've survived. So that's why you're so happy. He's like, the cracking is really not doing much. It's kind of like cracking your fingers. This chiropractor or these chiropractors don't just, call him out. He's just part of a trend. They're just giving these people near death experiences. And, and I, I did think about, I do not want to hang myself. I do want to see that uh, directly to camera. So if you see, well, okay, now I want to put this out there. Yeah, I do not want to kill myself. If I kill myself, no, someone else did it. Anyway, <laughs> all um, right. You got someone coming after you? What was no, that? but you never, people are dying these days. And yeah, you got to put these videos out. Okay. Now that I said that, I don't want to hang myself. But man. That crack, that back crack you would get right before like impending death would be phenomenal. You make a good point. Kick the chair and just feel like, oh, that's so nice. Oh, I mean, I'm going to die, but like. Like if you don't break your neck and die instantly. No, I I mean, you're going to die. Well, no, you're going to die. But like there's, if you hang yourself, yeah. you can either break your neck instantly and die. Or a lot of people just, they fall. And You've got to find the good in everything. Yeah, everything. I guess everything. That's has what chiropractic has taught taught to me. What'd you say? Chiropractorists. Okay, have taught to me. Did I hear you say a joke? Nope. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I know you didn't. Okay, that water be- better stay in your mouth. Well, if it stayed in my mouth, it'd be easier for me to do a spit take. It has traveled down my throat. I assume somewhere near my urethra now, and it is uh, it's humming around. Well, actually, this uh, reminds me of. This uh, this thing that I saw, there's a 14-year-old boy 
And I'm sure that's what you saw, buddy. God damn it, but dude. That, did you the binoculars record now? Let's, let's cut to a clip. Oh, my gosh. No, this, this kid's in Israel. Okay. Okay, you've got a camera there. I don't know. He's riding his bike, and he gets hit by a car. What videos are you watching? It's not a video. It was an article because it was this huge, like, medical breakthrough where this kid, he gets hit by a car on his bike, and he gets internally decapitated. And then doctors in Israel uh, perform this, like, extremely, extremely rare, like, life-saving surgery and reattached his head within his own body. How do you reattach? Attach something that's already attached. Why am I getting to the semantics? What a beautiful thing that he's alive, huh? Well, no, it was like everything inside the neck was yeah. detached. He was internally. So his, so his skull and his spine. Yeah. The yeah. only thing keeping his head on was his skin. Hot. But everything else was detached. And when you, you read that article and you said, God, they could do anything nowadays. There's also, speaking of doing anything nowadays, uh, there are six, the, there's a study that came out. It's very preliminary, Okay. but they found six uh, uh, drug concoctions that um, induce uh, de-aging and they've tested it in mice and in humans. And so far it's been a huge success because uh, before everything was gene editing, which cost millions of dollars and is completely unaffordable for most people but this is you could solve aging by taking a single pill what the hell are you doing you're welcome for what i figured it out oh you did this yeah it's peer-reviewed why do you think i'm why do you think i'm in my room all the time oh because you're working on de-aging are you my mom's getting old and you want to know something about her i don't want her to die so why would i not devote my life to saving my mother and restoring her youth you know, explain to me where you got your education and you self-educated. Know, self-educated. Yes. What books did you read? <laughs> I've got a thing called the Internet Dinosaur. <laughs> okay. What'd you read on the internet? And I watch videos. Okay, so you're a you're a YouTube uh, like biologist and Vimeo and Vimeo. Yeah. So I can kind of break down the science for you if you like. Yeah, please do. Yeah, it's kind of simple. So we have developed this proprietary system for. Um, de-aging people go on <laughs> to what that's uh, kind of sums it up that's i can't give i can't give exactly a- what i said but actually with less details yeah i like to get to the point oh okay you like to drag everything out and do it a little nasally well i feel okay i'm a little stuffed up same all right i can hear it and i'm self-conscious about <laughs> it doesn't seem like it or you blow your nose <laughs> i'm sorry for putting your insecurities on the internet okay Alyssa has okay. not stopped looking at herself on the monitor. I'm this not entire. even. I'm looking at you guys. But she's you're she's actively facing away from the monitor no, to make sure she yeah isn't she's looking. fighting. She she is Rocky Balboa in her narcissism in her head right now. She's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna look at you. Speaking of like crazy crazy stories, there was this woman who she lives with her husband. And uh, one day he just came in and, and he just reeked to her. He, she, he smelled really, really bad. So um, she couldn't figure out why. And it just, she, he kept smelling, kept smelling, scrubbed him in the tub. He took a shower. They did a bunch of things and she just kept smelling him and he smelled terrible. Well, about, I think it was like 20 years later, actually, like the smell just kept on getting oh. worse and worse. And uh, they go in and, he, and he's diagnosed with Parkinson's. And he goes to a group of people that also have it. It's kind of like a, a coping group. Yeah. And and she walks in and the smell is stronger than anything she's ever smelled. She's like, that's that smell again, but it's like a 20 billion times stronger. And um, she's like, wait, can I smell the Parkinson's? And she reached out to a lot of medical people that kind of laughed in her face and uh, they didn't believe her until like one doctor gave her a chance and she was given a like a, a big number of people that had Parkinson's and they tested to see if she could smell it. She got every single one right. No freaking way. But one. But one. And like 10 years later, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. So she could smell it before it like fully mustered up. What the hell? And so they noticed, they did something where the, um, they figured out whatever that smell was, um, I guess by testing her scent. And they, they were able to create 
something where they can detect Parkinson's a lot sooner now, just because she had this like crazy superpower of being able to smell it. No way. That's insane. I thought it was pretty insane. So she lived with that smell with her husband for 20 years before he was diagnosed. Apparently, I could be off on the timeline, but I know it was but a long still, time. But still, I yeah. mean, like even smelling that for any amount of time before someone's diagnosed, you know, at least like until they, what's a degrade to the point where like they do get diagnosed. That's insane. Yeah. Well, because it's like. And what, and what can your nose do? Not, can't even breathe. They can't, can't even smell anything. Have we found a place for him to get his nose surgery? Oh, not yet. Um, but can't dogs smell like things? Yeah. Shut the hell up. What? No, can't dogs smell illnesses or something like that? Or I have no idea. You aren't up to date on what dogs can smell and can't smell. When I it think comes they to can sense things, terminal? but I don't think they can smell things. Oh yeah, dogs can't smell at all. Melissa just said so. <laughs> Right, that's like right. that's like one of their number one uses in the field is in the field and like in most fields where they use dogs is their sense of smell and I feel like they can smell. Can you look that up? Can they smell diseases? Don't look it up, Alyssa. He's tricking you. Wait, so did they figure out what it like allowed her to smell that, or they just figured out? This was one TikTok that I watched. Oh, okay. I know I said it emphatically, like I had a lot of information. Yeah. That's where I got it from. Okay. I was wondering if it was like a genetic mutation that allowed her to do it or if she was just like super sensitive to something. And oh, I'll tell you what, women are super sensitive to stuff. Am I right? Huh? <laughs> oh my God. Um, huh, Alyssa? The answer is yes. Ah, see? So dogs have an incredible sense of smell. They can detect changes in human scent caused by diseases. They can smell illnesses such as cancer. They can smell cancer. What do you think cancer would smell like? Not like a Taurus, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that was a terrible. What? That was a terrible sentence. I've trained you. I've taken a word from you. How does that feel? <laughs> Is this like a like a psycho like psychological case study right now or like experiment that you're running? Are you in control of your own mind? I'd like to think so, but now I'm not then so sure. Say the word. I'm not going to say the word because I know the consequences. Oh, are you conditioned? Yeah. Yeah. You just Pavlov me. I'll do anything to you. I'll pap smear you. But that's not possible. Or is it? I don't want to know. I don't want to find out. Did you know that over 30 million people have signed up for our next sponsor? Private Internet Access. It's a VPN. It protects you and your internet and just keeps you nice and safe and warm. So essentially when you want to get on the internet, it changes your IP address to another place so people can't track where you are. But the use that I usually use it for is sports and or if I want to watch a TV show that's... Um, not shown in my region. It's like, oh, I can only watch Love Island UK if I'm in the UK. Bing, bing, bop, change my VPN. The world thinks my computer's actually in the UK and then I can watch any show I want. And then when the Lakers are playing, a lot of times they'll black out the station. And so I'll, like, I'll go to Ohio and pretend like my computer's in Ohio to watch the game. It's the best thing you could ever do for your computer because it keeps your internet safe. Say you're using public Wi-Fi at, uh, I don't know, the airport. Do you know how many hackers can get in, steal all your data, and since Wi-Fi is so fast now, strip all your data, send it to everyone, say you have some dirty stuff on there too. They can get that to people who can blackmail you. you got to keep your internet safe, and if you want to watch cool shows or outside your region or just use it to safeguard, I'm telling you, private internet access, the VPN is the way to go. Over 30 million people are using it, so why wouldn't you, Jared, huh? I am using it. Oh, then why the hell am I talking so much? I don't know. Is there a way that these people can get, I don't know, like a discount if they if they use like a code or something? Is there anything of that nature? There sure is, Zach. If you want to enjoy all the benefits of private internet access, now's the time to subscribe. Head, Head to, to PIAVPN.com slash dropouts and get 83% discount? Seriously? 83%? 83%. Wow. Okay. That's good uh but you must go to piavpn.com slash dropouts for a truly private digital life exclamation point signing up for private internet access is risk-free there's a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24 7 customer service available and you can use one private internet access account to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time i personally have 12 devices 
Normally, that would cost a lot of money. Not with private internet access. Not with the VPN, huh? Let's use code DROPOUTS at PIAVPN.com. Use code DROPOUTS for 83% off. Are you kidding me? Thank you, private internet access. For the longest time, I didn't prioritize my health, and I think it's just the daunting task of finding a doctor in your town. Do they take my insurance? Um, are they even capable? I can't even read a review system on if they're good or not until that recently changed with ZocDoc. ZocDoc is something that has completely changed my health game because now I can go on their website or their app and I can search through doctors in my area that take my insurance that are reviewed by people I can trust to see if they're a good doctor before walking in. You know, does this guy, uh, you know, treat you well? Does this guy, uh, does he know what he's talking about? I mean, these are things you want to... A lot of times we go into the doctor blind and it's like, I guess they know what they're talking about. This is how you actually know and you can take your health care seriously, Jared. Yeah, I mean, I used to ask my mom what doctor I needed to go to. I would ask her, hey, mom, I got a bum knee. Who should I go see? And she says, you're 25, figure it out. Yeah, basically. But it's like, how do you figure it out with no direction? You know, it's like, do, do I go to an ENT? Do I go to a general practitioner? Like, who, who's going to check out my knee? It's Tinder for doctors in the best way where they always swipe right on you and you get to pick who you want. That's, That's amazing. A genius comparison. Thank you, buddy. And the best part about ZocDoc is that it is a free app where you can find thousands of doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. So to find a doctor today, all you have to do is go to ZocDoc.com slash dropouts and download the ZocDoc app for free and then find and book a top rated doctor today. That is Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash dropouts, ZocDoc.com slash dropouts. And thank you for sponsoring the episode. We love you and we'd kiss you if you let us. Thank you, ZocDoc. But if Jared were to kiss you, then you probably get something and then you have to go to ZocDoc to get it away. What's the poorest you've ever been? Oh, it is when we shared an apartment with 10 guys, 900 square feet, only two bedrooms. And um, I would, you know, try to go work out in the morning and I, I would do my workout. I'd be fully clothed, but I couldn't afford to wash the clothes afterwards. So oh, I would, no. I would find a local public pool and go take a swim and just let hopefully the chlorine do its job. Just in your clothes? I like couldn't afford detergent. What am I supposed to do? It's better than stinky nation population me. But like, why would you wash them in the sink? What just with water, you know, like now your clothes just smell like sweat and chlorine. I don't even know if we have, what, have, could afford hand soap at the time. Well, no, we couldn't, but at least just like washing it with water. We didn't have to pay for utilities at the time. We could use all the water that we wanted. Yeah, but the chlorine isn't chlorine's a nat natural, uh, D stinkifier. I'm gonna go and look that up. Chlorine's one of the smelliest like chemicals out there. But it's a chemical that strips other odors, so you're just left with a nice perfume. It's not a nice perfume. A chlorine perfume is a lot of people's wretched. best memories are at a pool, so I'd watch your mouth. Yeah, but you don't want to go walking around smelling like a pool. I don't want to go walking around like people's best memories. Check and mate. Damn. I wish your name was Check, because I'd mate. No, I wouldn't. Maybe. I wouldn't let you mate. Because we're two people who can't have a baby. Yeah, pretty much. But you'd let me hit if we could. No. And that's on Jack. <laughs> Alyssa, are you looking up if chlorine is anything? For pools, yes. See? For pools, not people. It's an alliteration. It's a potent odor eliminating gas. Yes, sir. With strong oxidizing property. And do you want to say anything else? Yeah, this is for a pool. I'm scienced up. Not people. I'm not saying I do it anymore. I said I, I was, oh, oh, let's make fun of the poor because I was doing something out of necessity because I couldn't afford a nice set of laundry products. I'm not making fun of you for being feels poor. Like it. I'm saying that I feel targeted. you in that situation had better options. Oh. Like come home, get in the uh, shower with all your clothes. Oh, are you diminishing my feelings, huh? It's no. also social embarrassment as well. Oh, if I come home and I say, ah, I accidentally fell in the pool again, people think I'm clumsy. If I come in and I shower. Every day? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people do things a lot every day. Brush their teeth. I fall in a pool. They're synonymous. 
But if I come home and I get in the shower fully clothed, the ridicule that would have heard. Hey, shower clothed boy. But no one would know you were going to be fully clothed in the shower because the door shut. How would they? I Where would I put the clothes to dry? You hang them up. And how did they get wet? You washed them in the shower. You didn't have to tell us you were wearing them. Am I the crazy one in this? He's the one that was swimming in a pool to clean his clothes. Out of necessity. I'm saying it's not. How does not, it feel to be the 1% it's and not, spit on all of us? I was in the this same is how boat I feel. as you. Okay. We were, we were, no, no. <laughs> That's what There's you're doing no to the lower class. Way. And that There's is for everyone in America who is hardworking, who has a blue collar job, and who is just trying to put food on the table for their family. That is for America. That is for the United States. That is for our world. And that is for class systems. How does it feel to be there? There's no way you related spitting on me to patriotism. The few, the proud, baby. The drenched. <laughs> Something a woman's never been around you. Oh, Zach. Oh, what a cheap joke. Oh, I get it. I can't make a woman uh, joyfully discharge or whatever it is going on <laughs> down there. Is that what it is? Joyfully discharge. Let's cut you a clip. Yeah. I'm going to, I might add that to shit Zach says list. What did I say? I'm just going to add, I can't make a woman joyfully discharge. Yes, I can. <laughs> I said, you can't. You, right. yeah, you better say you. you. All right, fine. I'll say you can't. What was the last thing that I had said in my entry? The last thing you said, <laughs> I think I'm gay. Whatever, though, I still got that dog in me. God, that checks out. And then the one before that, wow, you have a discharge thing. Flake the discharge on it like red pepper. I said that. Uh, yeah, you also said, I want to give you head at the Macy's Day Parade. That is magical. <laughs> okay. Imagine Snoopy's above <laughs> and you're out there getting that dome sloppy, huh? Goodness. People act like I'm not a visionary. Aristotle had quotes. Why can't I? Yeah, but I don't think you said, I don't think Aristotle said spit in my mouth and call me Keith Urban. I don't know if anyone else has either. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I stand by that one. What that about my long hair face? Well, do you also stand by, I'm going to be honest, if I'm watching porn and there's a weird penis, I'm clicking off of it, completely takes me out of it. Okay, which does not take you out of it? No, it does. It does kind of take you out of it. Yeah, yeah. It's Actually, like yeah. You also said, girl, I'd pickpocket that uterus and steal your tampon, but only if I was a vampire. They're popsicles for vampires. I've said this my whole life. That you, Edward Cullen special, baby. Spread them. I can eat a hoe out and still talk to her about her poodle. Okay, that has layers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, explain the layers in that one. It's like I can be intimate with a woman, but also talk to her about, you know, what's going on in her day, the things that she loves, and maybe that's the poodle. You do always say that you're more interested in having a, a deep conversation with uh, a significant other or a partner than a woman. having sex. Yes. This is just like a, a less elegant way of I'm saying that. Of saying it's that. Poetic. Is this poetic? Uh, is it bad <laughs> if I'm sexually attracted to tragedies? I don't think you'd bring that one up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't slop the top until the papers are signed, Gina, and you know that. That one is directed to my mom, I assume? Yeah. But not us together. That was her and another man. This one was also directed God, to your how mom. How many do you have? So many. Uh, mom, you got to get your nipple game up. <laughs> that? What was that one about? <laughs> Thing oh, that's because when I was little, um, for whatever reason, she couldn't breastfeed me. There are complications. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Mom, you got to get your nipple game up. And I think she agreed. I'd be smarter. Oh, if you were. Yeah, I was bottle fed. Formula? Or did she pump the breast milk? Ah, uh, formula. Yeah. That explains so much of why you are the way you are. Does it? I think so. Your mom titted you? Oh, yeah. Isn't that a little strange? No, that's completely let's, natural. Let's throw age out of this. You sucked on your mom's titties. <laughs> okay, well, when you phrase it like that. How else would you phrase it? My mom secreted her natural motherly duty to supply. Of, of getting artificially inseminated? to <laughs> Of giving birth uh -huh. and procreating. Uh, and she supplied her child with nutrients. How old were you when you stopped? I think your mom's an eight. Melissa, speaking of eight, you know what rhymes with that? Date. How about you and me? 
I'm not trying to have a baby, but we could practice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Alyssa. So weird. Well, you didn't say stop. And Frank was gas. Straight up literary tycoon. Are you joking? Yes. <laughs> I agree with me. Speaking of dating, people sent in dating profiles <laughs> for us to oh, go are we through doing that? and review. Uh, for our audio listeners, sucks for you. We're doing, uh, we're looking at people's hinges. Uh, we did our live Q&A on the Patreon and um, people wanted to. Yeah, someone suggested that we uh, review other people's hinges after we had ours reviewed when we went on Wild Till 9. Um, and so we're going to start now with Emily. Um, she says that she's sensitive, so maybe. Oh, well. Well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have submitted, have sent, Emily. Yeah, shouldn't have sent it in. <laughs> This is All where right. you We're about up. to play smash or pass. So this is this is the top of her profile? Uh, this is the first picture, so I assume, yeah. And she doesn't start Have off with picture. a picture. Interesting. So she starts off with a two truth and a lie prompt. Emily, right now you're just an estrogen being. Um, yeah. No one knows anything about you. Maybe throw up a picture. I would definitely start with a picture. But two truths and a lie. I'm allergic to coconuts. Okay. Flo Rida follows me on Instagram. Flex. And my dad passed. Oh, I thought I was gonna say passed away. Oh. My dad passed out when I was born. Ooh, what do you think the two truths and a lie? I've already swiped left. Okay, <laughs> kidding, Emily. All right, here's. I one. exited out because hinge. That's what you do. I, um, no, uh, I think uh, two truths and a lie. The lies, obviously. Her dad. Her dad's a strong guy, or he wasn't there. I was gonna say I think it's. Uh, I'm allergic to coconuts. Next prompt, I won't shut up about being a worldwide girl for Big Time Rush. No, I, no idea what that means. I think it's a reference to one of their songs. You don't know what a worldwide girl is? Oh, it's their, uh, think of it, it's like, worldwide. Yeah, but it's like when Justin Bieber used to bring up a girl for, you're the only one, what's the oh, song? Oh, One so, Less Lonely one Girl. One Less Lonely Girl, they bring up four girls for a worldwide girl. Oh, so she was brought up on stage. Yeah. Okay, so that was a big moment in her life. That one's the lie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, 21, 5'5". Five, five. All right. I want to see what she looks like. Go to Here the next. Go. Okay. <laughs> Zach. Do you agree or disagree that Sky High is the greatest movie of all time? No, obviously. Uh, but I know that's for laughs. It is. It is a pretty good movie. I would say that being your first picture, you are still fairly hidden. You're, you're covering half your face. I would maybe go for one where you can see your whole face. Nope. I'd go with, with one where you can only see a quarter of her face. You know, pick and choose whose advice you want to follow. Next. Yeah. There you Smash. go. Like you could put that one at the top. My favorite line from movie, peer pressure. I'm far too sensitive from Scream. All right. Oh, she wasn't. Oh. Louisville, Kentucky. Oh. L's down, baby. DBM for life. You know what it is. Kentucky. There's Lexington. For being a worldwide girl. Okay. So not the lie. Okay, so oh, wait. So that picture came before... The picture, the first picture we saw of her. Oh, great! Oh, so I guess they're out of order. Alyssa's ruined it. I just I'm going in order from. No, where it's okay. Sent. It's okay. It's, it's fine. fine. It's yeah. Fine. You just ruin her whole day. Oh, maybe this oh, is the first star- picture. This all the photos are out of order. I don't know which one's first. This Alyssa, is the- I could have said smash a long time ago. <laughs> this is the second to last. <laughs> and you took photo. that away from me. I'm sorry. Look at her. She's a bubbly human being who she is, is in front bubbly. of. Is that Gaston? Yeah. It looks like it. You are in territory of possibly being a Disney adult. Yeah. That could scare the men away uh-huh. unless you're looking for that and then they could be into it. Yeah, because you know you might want to be going for someone with similar interests. I would say the picture uh, where you were in like the, the denim dress thing, I would put that at the top because uh, you're very small in this top picture. But you got to um, think the phone's going to be close to your face. And you can get it as close as you want. But she's still very small. Maybe yeah. she's a small person. I mean, she is 5'5". Five five. I mean, pretty I tall. It's pretty average. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah, you're right. That's pretty average. Yeah, I would make, you know, like a few. How many oh. freaking pictures does she have? <laughs> this is the all last one. All of a sudden, one. she went from having none to like all of them. All right. Yeah, yeah she's a Disney face. adult. Yeah, that's a leopard. She's a Disney <laughs> adult and the cat scares the hell out of me. So she's a cat person and a Disney adult and a worldwide girl. Jared. What? Did you seriously just text me that? Text you what? I want to make her legs wide all over the world. Jesus, dude. That's exactly my thoughts when you sent it to me. I have some class. All right. Smash. She said to roast the F out of my hinge. Okay. Valentina, I think you were part of uh, the live stream. Okay. I want someone who isn't a piece of shit. 
That's oh, Jared's out. <laughs> what? So am I. <laughs> Liberal, but spiritual. We're going to find her immediately. Oh, yeah. Do we need to bleep any of this out? Maybe. I, maybe I wouldn't say. Well, I mean, yeah. I she's a, oh, she's a vet. A system. Am I right? She's an Aquarius, and she she's likes also cats, cat and, she, and she likes getting drunk every night. Okay, so you got a bit of a problem. Guess where this photo was taken? That I'm is good. That, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess that was at a Harry Styles concert. Oh yeah, I, can, I see adult. somebody with a pink uh, um, cowboy hat on, and I don't know why, but that's giving Harry Styles to me. Okay, me and my best friend, so we know. You're we not. know that humans, other humans can like you. Okay, dating me is like dating me. <sighs> I'd get rid of that one. I, Let me have something a little bit more personal. Yeah, because it doesn't We're, offer a lot of insight. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's one of those like cheap throwaway jokes. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, you didn't add any value. The whole thing, each, each little blurb from the scroll has got to add some value of why I either want to take you out on a nice, lovely date or, or swipe left. Why? That's what men and women do if it's consensual. My cry in the car song is Signs of the Times by Harry Styles. Now I feel like I nailed where that photo was taken then. And, and okay, listen, if you want to stand out, you can't put probably the most famous Harry Styles song. Oh, yeah. It's your favorite Harry Styles song. What are we doing? That's a good point. Are you a dog person because cat? Okay, so you're going to alienate a lot of men because a most men. most men are dog people. Yeah. Um, and most cats are not guy people. Yeah, I feel like you are really trying to find a needle a woman. in a haystack. Oh. Or a woman, yeah. Make some changes, okay? Here we go. Is this a guy right here? Yeah. Ooh, his name's Zachary. I have the, that name. Okay, Zach with a K. Oh. He's a heroin addict. There's nobody on the other end. Let me have your number and we can change that. Why is why is I eyes blurred out? Oh, he did, he did for that. Privacy. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Because they're blurred out in all of them. These are out of order again. He's six one. Swipe right. Okay, six one. He's an engineer. Okay, no, Alyssa. Alyssa should say something about this. Very nice. Okay, low key flex. I swear I was aiming for that exact spot, and it looks like he got a bullseye. So it shows he's athletic. It shows you the back of his head, which is girls, and he can defend you with if a he battle has an axe. axe. And he's gonna be very accurate with it. Oh yeah. Alyssa. I feel like all photos on dating apps should be your face. But he's trying to show how much of a man he is by throwing an axe. I get it. Does I that impress it. you? You can be honest. No. no. Okay, then move okay. on. No. So maybe that's just for the guys. We're helping people. But here. maybe that impresses somebody else. So Or maybe it doesn't. So okay. <laughs> Okay, which do we have in common? You also feel obligated to vote in any poll you come across. Uh, you also prefer watching TV over movies, and your favorite song changes hourly based on 14 different variables. Are we being brutally honest? Yeah. yeah, be brutally honest. I would not read through any. It's too long. <laughs> you got a little TLDR right there. <laughs> too long, didn't read. Um, <laughs> people are swiping left because of that. At least the, your Alyssa profile is. is essentially the thumbnail of a video. If the thumbnail's not good or eye catching, no one's going to click on it. That was a great analogy. I know. That's why I said it. I geek out on television mostly, we know. Um, so you're not giving us any new information. Honorable mentions include tech, F1, and things I found out about 26 minutes ago. Can't forget about EA Nazir. Is that, I assume, a soccer player? Maybe. I don't keep up with soccer. It's probably a really good one. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I, I don't know. We got to throw this whole page away if we're going to be honest. Yeah, kind of. Like I geek out on, it's like you're, when you include all of those things, it's, you're, it's going very niche. You know, I feel like this is all about casting a wide net and then finding, you know, the, the right fish that you're looking for in that net. Alyssa. Yes. Would you care? No. Okay, then let's move on. I feel it's like something it's something that you would talk about maybe on the first date more, and then this it's just like this should be like more concise. Yeah. My submission to national get rid of that. I mean it's cool if you were like trying to impress me and Jared. <laughs> yeah. But Alyssa, do Alyssa. you care that he three D prints? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> okay. Uh, a random fact that I love is Roald Dahl was a spy during World War II. Let's flip it around and put anything else there. 
Who I will say for? the good thing about these things is that you like you're gearing it towards a specific person. So like your interest might be like history and you know and tech and yeah. stuff like that. So maybe a girl who's also that is true. That. that is true. So it's it's hard because you want to cast that wide net, but you also don't want to get a random person who's just going to waste your time. Yeah, you want to get someone else that also three D prints Viking uh, octopuses, pussy, octopussy, <laughs> octopi, um, octo. Yeah, with that ro- are also rock stars. Yeah, like some of the things that you could did on, I geek out on like tech, three D printing, history. There you go. Yeah, and somebody feel, responds like, "Oh, what's your what's your three D history?" I feel like <laughs> honestly, everything in the in this profile just needs to be more concise. Yeah. Um, this picture was taken for my mother as proof I went outside. Good photo. What? It's I. It's giving I a serial killer. Yeah. And why do like, you have to prove to your mom that you went outside at twenty six? Maybe you have just full shoes on at the beach. I would maybe do some of these pictures just without captions as well. Well, no, it's you can click on the caption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. No, it's not on the f- top of the picture. No, I know it's not on top of the picture. I'm just saying that one doesn't do it for me. Okay, Zach, just concise it. You have the same name as me. I expect more from you. Con- concise yeah, be, it up, buddy. Be Zach with a K. Oh, yeah, you're a lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> Should this be the last one? Yeah. All right, Tasha, last. But not least, if this is your first picture. I like it. Same thing with Emily. You like it. I wouldn't like it as her first picture. I don't know if this is her first picture or not. Just because. Oh, it is. Um, I think this is a cool picture. It's like, oh, this is where I live. I don't know. But I would not have it at the top. At the top, I want to see the face. That's what I'm saying. That's the same thing I said with Emily. I was like, you're very small in the picture, and it's not a bad picture. Like, that is a good picture. It's very artsy, but yeah, you want to see face. It's it, Like Zach said, it's like a thumbnail. You need to capture the people's attention. The way to win me over is chocolate and concert tickets. That's a, and Zach, that's a great way to concise, like, have a concise answer. They're talking to me. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking to previous. Oh, he clicked you know. off. Okay, Ashley, a spiritual buffalo, liberal, long-term relationship. Good. You're setting the uh, expectations early. She's not here for hookups. Monogamy. Mm-hmm. All right. Still haven't seen your face. Okay, yeah. Your face is blocked in the second picture as cute, well. Cute figure, though. Yeah. I'm too far away to see your face on this one, but it might be close enough for people to see. It might be close enough, but I'd also say maybe for this Like, you can use that photo. It looks like a great photo, but zoom in more on you because we're getting way more. Get waist up here, huh? Yeah, we're getting way more background than we are of you. Um, Something that's a non-negotiable for me is. You're not going to get many guys with that. You have to like taking pictures together. I feel like that's something that you can get someone used to doing is taking pictures together. I just wouldn't have it, it. I would have something a little bit more flirty and open here like that doesn't make me think oh she's like joking or fun or like it doesn't add any value oh, to her. yeah that seems a little too serious yeah that's yeah, that's fine okay that's a that's a good picture oh two pictures two. In the same exact place can't do that different Take, outfits though different outfits but i would keep the green pants outfit definitely that looks cooler i would replace the the other one dorkiest thing about me is i still watch cartoons that's totally fine yeah that's, on board for that that's cute and quirky finally we got a face picture there we go. See, I would put that. Well, I would put one maybe where you're like smiling or like looking at the camera or something because it's all about the eyes. I feel like eyes really capture people's attention because blood. those are the windows to the soul. Possibly. And that's a very real possibility. And I'm sorry I didn't consider that. Thanks a lot, Jared. And she connected her Instagram. No, nope, she's looking at a camera in one of them. So she's what the hell are you looking down for? That's a good point. Okay. So I like the connecting to Instagram because then that offers the opportunity to see even more photos of her and kind of like her whole aesthetic. Listen, you're 50% there. Let's make some changes. Let's go back to the drawing board. Sit down with a gal or a guy. If you got a guy friend, I think that's the best way to to link it up. And if you or if you got a girlfriend that and you're a guy, it's the best way to get your guys is going. Did we also have uh, some questions to the dropouts advice? Yeah. Yeah, let's go through some of these real quick. All right, you want to read that off, Alyssa? 
yet. Yeah, read it off now that you got a camera on you. I recently had an interesting encounter with one of my bestest guy friends. We ended up having a great bonding moment and even ended up cuddling with each other to go to sleep. But the literal next day, he was super weird and distant. I didn't think anything was wrong in what happened. Um, but why would a guy switch up? Or better yet, how should I address it? I mean, you guys, I mean, if you guys went from friends to even just cuddling, like in his mind, he's like, I, I mean, does does she think we're going to start dating? Or, or if I really like her, did I just mess things up? Are things weird now? Or maybe he just doesn't know how to talk to someone after such an intimate moment. It's kind of like that thing when you text someone you used to like late at night. Um, a, a lot of your inhibitions go away. Uh-huh. I think there's like a science to it as well where, you know, you're more free or willing to talk about whatever. And then you see them at school in the morning. Oh, it and is it was, the most awkward. And then you have to see each other and be like, hi. <laughs> and act like you just didn't get so emotionally or physically intimate last night. Like, yeah, you didn't just like let out all of your demons. Into- or, yeah, or like tell them that you, you like them. Yeah, because this, I mean, this is a big step. Um, yeah, I I feel like that guy is just, I feel like he's in panic overthinking mode right now. And I think the best way to just go about it is just be like, hey, what's what's going on up here, you know? And then just like have a simple conversation about it. Or just joke about it and, and you know, say, where are my cuddles, you know? Oh yeah, like if you if you want the cuddles, like, like I don't like break it down. Like I have a very serious question: Was were my cuddles like too bony? Was I just poking <laughs> you the whole time? Did I did I sprout into a porcupine when I fell asleep? Because <laughs> things have been weird ever since. But I don't want them to be because honestly, I really enjoy the cuddles. See, that's good. Humor is gonna disarm him. Exactly, dude. There's no freaking way <laughs> you just gleeked on me. Like, do you understand how gross it is? What if I just started gleeking on you? You don't know how. I'm the only person well, what if can I, do it. What if I learned? You can't learn. It's it's just kind of like an involuntary. Yeah, you don't know how. Yeah, and you look like an idiot. <laughs> you look like a snake who's defanged and still is trying to do Gosh, something. I just fucking rubbed your, your gleek. You almost said another word. <laughs> You're disgusting. Started with Next a C. Question. End with a. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so this question... <laughs> Um, needing some advice about weight loss. I'm currently 310, 63, um, relatively big guy and I'm about to be a senior in high school. Uh, I know Jared has talked about his weight loss before and I was needing some advice about how he was able to lose it and maintain. So Jared, most, you, yeah, I don't know anything about this, so you give it to him and I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, the most important thing about weight loss is that, and maintaining the weight loss is that it is a lifestyle change. It's not only just um, about getting to your goal weight uh, and then going back to the way that you used to live. Um, The only way that you're going to lose weight is by being in a calorie deficit, right? You can do that by, you know, consuming less calories that you need, but also exercising helps a lot. Um, You know, cardio, that's a great fat burner. Um, weights uh, and building muscle. Uh, muscle takes you know more energy to function, and so that's going to help burn more calories just functioning throughout the day. Um, so you want to do weight training and cardio at the same time. A simple way to do it is honestly like they recommend getting ten thousand steps a day. Right, that's really difficult, but if you build a habit out of consistently doing that. Um, that does more work than you realize. Uh, something that I like, I hate cardio. I, um, I like, I hate running. It hurts and I have a hard time breathing. So I like to do uh, like a, a steady incline uh, on the treadmill and, you know, you can hold on to the sides if you need to, or if you want to power through whatever, there, there's alternatives to it, but being a calorie deficit, you don't have to give up the foods that you love um, and you don't have to put yourself on this like insanely strict diet. It's all about moderation. Um, Zach is hiding and peeking around the corner uh, like a madman. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you don't have to give up the foods you love and you don't have to put yourself... Everywhere on this like extreme diet because that's going to make you miserable because I've been there and it's made me miserable and it's made me like relapse back into the way that I used to be. Um, But yeah, it's all about building healthy habits, being in a calorie deficit, 
uh, doing cardio and building muscle and sticking with it. Uh, like consistency is king when it comes to losing weight. And so, you know, you're going to see um, a lot of fast results at first, then you're going to hit a plateau. That's going to feel really discouraging. Uh, that just means you have to push yourself a little harder and then you'll get over that plateau. You'll see another well, big drop. What are you looking drop. at me for? <laughs> and, She's uh, so into me. Oh, I know. She's been giving you looks this the entire podcast. podcast. That is a lie. It's okay. I get it. But hey, yeah. Zach. You know, oh, sorry. I thought you were done. That's that's pretty much it. I, I I don't know. I hope that helps. I feel like that wasn't the most concise answer. But, um, you know, always feel free to DM me and I can help you more there. I'll uh, feel free to DM me and I'll send you over to Jared's DM. Uh, this is going to be our last one of this podcast. Hey, Zach, Jared, and Alyssa, let's jump right into it. I'm 26-year-old female, and I've never been in a committed relationship. <laughs> I've been on many first dates that have been great, but it also ends up with a guy asking me if I want to be friends with benefits <laughs> or hook up. Sorry, she's like scrolling. Sorry. Um, I did not meet any of these men from dating apps. They've all uh, been a friend of a friend or someone I met at work. I'm quite a reserved person, but I will also admit that I have a pretty flirtatious personality, but I don't say or do anything during these dates that would suggest that I'm open to just hooking up or being friends with benefits. During these first dates, I keep up the convo pretty good, I assume. PG. I keep the convo PG. <laughs> I thought she was just like, I keep the convo pretty good. Uh, she put PG and I end uh, the date with a hug, no kissing or hooking up. But a couple of days later, I get asked if I would be down to be friends with benefits. And, and my answer is always no. So that just ends up ruining everything for me. And I can't continue the relationship knowing they just want to hook up with me and not actually date me. Most of these guys have told me that I'm wifey material. So why don't they want to date me? Is there anything I can do to change that or... Am I just undateable? Why do you read that like a Disney Channel original movie? Love your podcast. Love you guys. And I'm so proud of how much of you guys have accomplished. Well, I, I would kind of like to know the quantity of how many times this has happened to you. Because if it's a if it's a two time, you know, um, occurrence, maybe that's just happenstance. But if this seems to happen every single time, either you're you're running down the wrong street with the wrong guys. Maybe you're attracted to guys that um, have this look or have this type of personality. Uh, sometimes the bad boys, you know, you fall for them, but they kind of only want one thing. Um, either that or maybe the flirtation. Uh, maybe if he, maybe he's leaning into a sexual joke and if you go along with it, maybe he thinks you're kind of open to opening your legs. Does, does that mean anything to you, Alyssa? I don't know the. It's so like if like if a guy I guess is usually first to like open up about something sexual. So if you go too far down the rabbit hole, maybe you're, obviously you're just trying to be funny and wholesome. But the guys have kind of Neanderthal brains, where they're yeah. like, if you just say the word sex, it means you want to do that with me, right? Yeah, and not talk about like emotions. The first date, so you're just trying to like get along and like have things go well. Um, but maybe you're just looking in the wrong places for these guys. Yeah. It seems if it's a habit, then maybe, you know, maybe your type isn't what you think your type is and you need to go in a different direction. I also feel like the landscape of the dating world has changed so dramatically with dating apps and social media and stuff. And I feel like what you're experiencing is that there's just more people out there that are uh, looking for like fast, casual dating and not like monogamous long-term relationships and so it very well also possibly could be that you're not doing anything wrong you're not looking down the wrong path it's just you're experiencing this like new societal societal norm um and it just doesn't happen to line up with what you want there's also you know finding a partner is kind of one of the best things and most um influential positive or negative things you can do in your life. So say you're car shopping and, you know, you really want a car that's got four wheels and it's closed in and it blocks the wind, but you're only at a moped dealership. You're not going to find what you want. Um, I say just keep testing and retesting. And 
it's going to take some time, but it's probably worth it to, to go through the, the mud, um, to get yourself some running water. So yeah, just keep at it. Uh, unfortunately it's a, it's a sucky game, but you know, if you stop now, you're not going to find anybody worthwhile. And I think now that you've got the traits of these people, um, that you don't like, you can maybe spot that a little sooner, um, on your dates, you know, maybe try some dating apps, go get into a hobby. Um, the type of guys that you'd want to be around, um, maybe try to position yourself in those parts of town or those activities or whatever it is. So I would also like to add, please don't um, (laughs) that you are not undateable. Oh yeah, you are. (laughs) Jared, I want to triple down on your undateable. Actually just, yeah, no, you just have to be yourself and the right person will come along. Coming from someone who does not date. It's funny because when I read this, I was like, little close to home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alyssa actually just sent this question in. She's like, hey, let me jump right into it. She would not want our advice. Well, cool. Well, that, that was a good one. No, y- yeah, just keep fishing. Keep fishing. Keep fishing. Keep fishing. Um, we're about to go and head into our after school special on the Patreon. Um, so come join us over there. Also, what? how about you not burp during the I was threw part? up. <laughs> Um, also, uh, New York City live show. It's going to be a, a really good time. We're going to do a free meet and greet afterwards. Um, we've got some exciting, exciting um, surprises there that you two. Uh, yeah, you probably. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I can't say too much. Uh, links are all in the description or the first comment of the video for the live show tickets. And absolutely, if you stay to the end, um, send me a picture of the most attractive person in your family. Oh, Interesting. Okay. Everybody likes looking at pretty people. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. And we will see you next time. Like, subscribe, and comment. It helps out a lot. If you stay to the end, comment this. Um, one time I saw a fish and it made me just slightly happy, but then I saw a bigger fish and it made me really, really happy with six periods at the end. Dude. What? <laughs> what drugs are you on? Ketamine. <laughs> and that'll pretty much do the rest. And hit the outro. Yeah, hit. hit. Bye. Listen, better not say bye. 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 Bye more. Bye the most.